Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Pullman here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you the hidden notification menu on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, a fast tip before I show you how you can turn this on and activate this is that in order for you to pull up the secret menu is that you wanna go right above where that fingerprint sensor is. And when you press and hold and then you just pull up, or if you just go right where it is and you pull it up right away, you'll be able to see that little hidden menu, which it's more or less kind of like a news feed of all of your notifications that you get on your phone. Now, if you go anywhere else on the screen and you try to swipe up, you're really just gonna pull up whatever your lock screen type is. And you'll definitely know for a fact that you're hitting it if you see those icons show up on the very bottom, which you can kind of see the back button there, um, as well as my next media right over there, which was used again by Good Lock. Um, but you can also feel the feedback that you're pulling this up. So if you want another way of checking out all your notifications, this is how you're able to set it up. In order to activate the secret menu of notifications, you do wanna download GoodLock 2019. Now, if you don't have GoodLock on your phone, you do wanna swipe up and go inside of your application tray. On the very top right hand side, you'll see three little dots, and this is where you go inside of your Galaxy Essentials. This is basically all of the applications made for Samsung by Samsung. And again, on the very top, just search for GoodLock 2019. Because I already searched for mine, mine already auto populated, and you'll be able to download and install this application. Now, if you try to download GoodLock 2019 and you are not able to find it, more than likely you're not inside of the United States. Now, why GoodLock 2019 is only available inside the United States, I don't really know, but if you are from another country, you can easily download a VPN to confuse your phone on where it's located, so then this way you'd be able to download GoodLock 2019. Now, once you have the application on your device, you're gonna see all these different applications inside of GoodLock. Now, this one is to change your lock screen types and some of the settings. You can change your quick settings on the very top. You can also change your task changer, which you can see that mine right over here is gonna look probably just a little bit different than yours. And that's only because of GoodLock and the same reasons down here in the very bottom of my notification or my little navigation bar is also changed. Back, home, recents, next for media and also screenshot. Now the one you want to download is right here, it's called Noti Star. This one is a new way of getting notification. It's pretty much a management system. It's more like a news feed. So when you pretty much open this up, you'll be able to see all your uh, notifications that popped through for that day, and you can go through and swipe them off. Now when you go through this, you're gonna notice that, let's say that we go through and we touch on one of these. So if I was to go inside of Twitter, uh, even though that this one is a specific notification letting me know of something, it really only takes me to the application. So it's not really the same management system on the very top when you pull down the notifications panel, you click on a notification and it takes you directly to that post or that link or that comment or that like or whatever. Really, it's kind of a news feed, um, kind of like this Twitter right here, uh, uh, but it's a way that you're able to go into the application. One of the things I do like about having that little noti star is that when I go through here, I'm re-looking at everything that uh, came through for the day. And a lot of times, once I see it, I, I swipe it. So I'm doing exactly this, but I'm not really seeing exactly what's going on. I noticed that I got something uh, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll check it out later. So this is a way to kind of re-go through everything that you got for your notifications. And then this way you can go back over and you can reread or recheck what you probably swiped right away. Now, one of the things you are able to also do is if you'd like this to be put onto your home screen, if you go inside of here, inside of your GoodLock 2019, which if I go back, I'll show you, this is the main page. So here is GoodLock, and let's say that I wanted this Noti Star to go to my home page. If you press and hold, then you're able to either uninstall it or you can add it to the home screen. So let's say that we add this one to the home screen. Now it is added, it's placed right over here. So instead of me going through the lock screen to get into basically my feed of all my notifications, I can click on this icon here and then you're able to go through and let's say that you've gone through and you've read all of them, you can go to clear all. And then on the very top right hand side, you'll be able to see that there is a settings option. 
Now inside of settings, this is where you can either activate it or deactivate it. Um, now that it is turned on with that little blue toggle, you can go through your application list, uh, which is the second option. So inside of the application list, you can see if you want all of it to be uh, pretty much popped up or you can go through and change some of them. Now, if you are somebody who listens to Amazon Music or let's say Play Music or Spotify, I would say that anytime that it's showing you an artist, it'll probably pop up on that little uh, news feed, that little uh, notification feed of yours, because sometimes you know it's letting you know what song is playing on the very top, and that might be its own little uh, notification to you. So I don't need my clock to be up there. I turned off Fandango. Also my Galaxy Store, so this way anytime a, a application was updated I did turn it off same thing with the Google Play or Google Pay but also down here you'll see that with the Play Store I turned off I also turned off my messages and the messenger I didn't need to see those uh, there is the Play Store I was talking about um, or trying to get to from beforehand so every single time that it states hey this application needs an update hey you just downloaded a, an application it's successful so I kind of have some of those off so any of these that would, would really pop up with a lot of notifications, uh, just simply turn them off. And so uh, that's pretty much the main thing that you really need to see here is the application list. You don't really need to use a filter list. Um, I do have mine turned on for the in screen or the, the, the lock screen right there. And then also your storage period. So did you want no limit to where it would go back, you know, 60 days, 75 days? Um, honestly, that would be a lot of notification feed to go through because more likely you've seen most of them. I have mine set up for seven days, but you do also have the option of 30. So if you want to check out all of your notifications from the past 30 days, you can. So mine is set up like this. Notification storage period is seven days. I do have it inside of the lock screen because I think it's a pretty cool little hidden menu right there that you can pretty much go through and check out if there's anything that you've missed. The filter list I've never really played with yet. Um, really, I just went through the application list uh, and that's really all I would need. Now, if you've already gone through all of these notifications, you are good to go. You don't need to see any more of them. You can simply go to clear all. The other place that you're able to clear all those notifications is going to be through the screen itself. So when you open up your little notification menu here, that is pretty much hidden inside of that lock menu, you do have the option of clear all. Now this was just added with a previous update about a few days ago. Uh, beforehand, if this was not there, you would have to go through the good lock application itself to actually do that. And then when you are able to be done, you checked out all your notifications or you cleared them all, just hit your back button and then you're now good to go. Now, the only thing I do want to mention with this one here is that it does not take you directly to that notification. I really wish Samsung was able to do that, but I really kind of see this more like a feed. It's letting you know the notifications that you had more than the notifications that you have. And what I mean by that is because if I did tap on one of these, it should take me directly to where that liked photo was or the comment, but really all it does is it takes you to the application itself. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also write a comment below. Is this something that you'll turn on and use? Is it something that you know Samsung should improve on? Other than that, just let me know. Also, you can still subscribe to this channel right over here in the very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. Subscribe that way. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites, and I'll see you guys later.